for your thoughts, Papa. Where's the penny? Right here. <laughs> well, what your old Papa was thinking about... Was honey. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you ever think about, Papa. It's all very well to scoff. But the fact is that honey is very important to bear country. Not only is it nature's most perfect food, it's the foundation of bear country's entire economy. Why, without bees and honey, bear country would be in very serious trouble. The moment has arrived. The moment of truth. When we find out whether this plant I've developed is the ultimate weapon against their country, or just another pretty face. Then, Sweezel, release the bee. Yes, Archweasel! I've done it! I've done it! I've created the ultimate weapon against Bear Country! A plant that eats bees! You delightfully disgusting little beauty! <laughs> Hinchweasels! Yes, Archweasel! Locate Rathus Ralph and get him here immediately! Immediately, Archweasel! Rathus Ralph, I've come to say, when it comes to scheming, I'm okay. I'm slick. I'm quick. Okay, pull the lever. Now! Rathus Ralph, so good of you to drop in. Just picture it. Hundreds of thousands of these little darlings gulping down those bees. Gulp, 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 gulp. Uh, I'm picturing, I'm picturing. Hour after hour, day after day, and after a while, no more bees. Ah, and no more bees means no more honey. And no more honey means the end of bear country as we know it. The bears will pack up and leave, and I will at last achieve my glorious goal! To take over bear country, lock, stock, and honey pot! Ah, I gotta hand it to you, Chief. You're some kind of genius. An evil genius. Now listen up. This darling is almost the perfect weapon. Almost? It's sturdy growing and spreads like wildfire once it's established. But it's very difficult to grow from seed. Requires the talents of a master gardener. I've got just a sucker! A candidate, Chief! Mama Bear, president of the Garden Club, winner of the Flower Show Prize six years in a row! But how are you gonna fool her? She's pretty smart. Chief, you just leave that to me. What are you going to enter in this year's flower show, Mama? Are you going to win again this year? I don't know what I'm going to enter. And as for winning, the competition's getting pretty tough. A little water, sister. OK, Mama. Some plant food, brother. Righto. Lovely, just lovely. <laughs> uh, smile, everybody. Hey, what are you doing, Ralph? Yeah, why are you taking our picture? Now, Cubs, there's no need to be rude. But, Mama! Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Perfect for what, Mr. Ralph? Perfect for the cover of Green Thumb, the new garden magazine. Uh, but let me explain, dear lady. I have been authorized to select Bear Country's leading gardener for the cover of our inaugural issue. You mean you're going to put me on the cover of your magazine? No more than you do, madam. And now, if you please, they're holding the presses. You mean there's no catch? And we don't have to buy anything? Oh, uh, quite the contrary. The fact is, I've been asked by the magazine to make this little gift of appreciation. Seeds for a rare new flower. The, uh, 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 the super honeybell. <laughs> it's been a pleasure to serve you, madam. Good day. It's beautiful. Perfectly beautiful. Well, that solves the problem of what to enter in this year's flower show. The Super Honey Bell is a sure winner. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Release another bee. <laughs> My goodness, Ralph seems to have turned over a new leaf. I don't 
don't know, Mama. Well, the least we can do is give him the benefit of the doubt. So nervous. The announcement you've all been waiting for. The first prize winner is Mama Bear for Super Honey Bell. Oh, oh, congratulations, oh, my dear. So oh, gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Brother, the least you could do is say, Excuse me. It wasn't me. <laughs> I'm going to give you all cuttings so you can grow your own. <laughs> this will be my super honeybell patch. Mama, there's something strange about that plant. How do you mean strange? Well, sister and I are pretty sure we heard it burp. <laughs> you cubs are something. <laughs> really, Mama? Did you see that? I sure did. That field of honeybells just had that swarm of bees for lunch. Hmm. Remember what Papa said about how important bees and honey are to bear country? Sure. Well, I'm beginning to think this crazy plant is part of a wicked weasel scheme to destroy the bees. Come on, then. We'd better tell Papa and fast. Not a single drop of honey. Didn't see a single bee. Papa! Papa! Wait for us! Papa, there's something we have to tell you. Something awful. Can't be any awful than not finding a single drop of, of honey dang bees. They must be on strike or vacation. Neither, Papa. They're being swallowed by thousands of those plants that Rappish Ralph palmed off on Mama. It's all part of a wicked weasel scheme. No wonder I couldn't find any honey. We must notify Mayor Honeypot before it's too late. Ah, oh, Papa Q Bear. Delighted to hear your vo What? Oh, that's, that's terrible. What is it, Mr. Mayor? You declare a state of emergency and call a town meeting. Extra, extra, emergency town meeting. Call to save the bees. Extra, extra. And so, without further food, further ado, I give you the science director of our Save the Bees Committee, Professor Actual Factual Bear. Actual Factual is sure to have some way of getting rid of those awful plants and saving the bees. I certainly hope so. I feel so guilty. Now, now, my dear, there must be something we can do. I've studied this remarkable plant from top to bottom, and I've got some very bad news for you. No. <laughs> this plant, there are sample plants in the audience for your inspection, is a horticultural monster. It's tougher than crabgrass and meaner than poison ivy. Bugs won't eat it, and poison won't kill it. Wow. And if we do stop it in 72 hours, the bees of bear country are doomed. Do you see what I see? They are sensitive to something. They're sensitive to Mr. Skunk. Oh, well, I'll be happy to help in any way I can. Oh, Professor! Professor Actual Factual! Come on. Professor, could that biplane of yours be rigged for crop dusting? Oh, Jenny, I suppose so. But why? Because with the help of Mr. Skunk... And a few of my friends. We think we have a way to save the bees. Bravo! Let's go. You can explain all the way. Are you sure you and your buddies want to do this? Wouldn't miss it for the world. Ah, yes. In a few short weeks, this will all be mine. Lock, stock, and honeypot. Ah, oh, look, Chief. A plane is taking off. 
the forerunner of a great exodus, no doubt. <laughs> I don't know, Chief. It's laying down some sort of fog. <coughs> there, there's an exodus, all right, but we're the ones who are exiting! Yeah! They're, they're back! They're, they're back. back! I hope they zapped them good. They've done it, by Joe! They've done it! Brother and sister have saved the bees! With a little help from our friends, 